So, a long time ago, like 100 and something years ago, um, I lived in London. You were like 20. I was 48. <laughs> um, I lived in London for three months. Did you really? I did. So, I went to school there, lived there, whatever. Yeah. So, this pattern that we're in is, is like bringing that? me back to like, hmm. <clears throat> you know, whatever, and like just, oh my gosh. You're gonna start speaking with a British accent? Do you, no. Do you, do you drink, do you drink no. tea every day? Long Island iced tea. Does that count? <laughs> Sure, that yeah. counts. It's a form of I, yeah. I put my pinky up. <laughs> it's got to well, count something. Yeah, it counts. Well, and after the first key. one, <laughs> I'm, Definitely I'm on the ground. It so doesn't surprise <laughs> me. It doesn't really matter. So. It doesn't surprise <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, we're kind of stuck. What is it? What's it? London Fog, right? There you go. Yeah. Yeah, this is like it's a... I think that was a clothing company. Am I dating myself here? I am. Like, wasn't that a clothing... No, Didn't they make like is. sweaters or something? It's still around, Hannah? I think Hannah? so, yeah. Huh. All right, look at that. Came out of nowhere. <laughs> Somewhere way back here came out of, I don't know where. Um, it's really heavy rain throughout a lot of New England right now. This stuff off of Cape Cod, probably heading up to the mid and down east coast, hopefully weakens before it gets there because we've had our fair share of tropical downpours this morning. Looks like a little bit still in the Portland area. Look at that one little cell right over Cape Elizabeth and Scarborough. I uh, just came over Higgins Beach and some heavier downpours north of Portland now through Wyndham and Gray about to get to New Gloucester, Lewis and Auburn. You'll see another wave move through. We already have had some rumbles of thunder. Uh, another stop up here to the north. There's Farmington and Strong and Kingfield and Carabasset Valley. And all of this area has been seeing some heavy downpours and rumbles of thunder. Thankfully, a lot of it has been a little to the east of the Andover and Roxbury area, which got hit hard with flooding yesterday, still recovering. But some of these downpours that are north of Bangor could result in some temporary flooding concerns and issues for drivers on 95 up north of Orono and Old Town and to Greenbush right now. Dover Foxcroft, Sebec Lake slammed with tropical downpours. You know, be careful driving around this morning. If you encounter any any of these areas of heavy rain, you're probably going to need to pull off to the side of the road a little bit or at least reduce your speed quite a bit um, and keep those headlights on too because you can't see much in those downpours or out of them because there's some dense areas of fog too. There's that front right along the coastline, that tropical air flowing over it with the front in the area. You know, these could pop up pretty much at any time. So we'll see periods of torrential rain out there. Uh, slow down your speed, mist, and some dense areas of fog out there, too. Uh, during the middle of the day, we're going to see some cloudy skies. Can't rule out a stray shower or rumble of thunder. Real muggy air flowing up from the south. So it's going to be tough to get sunny breaks, but I think there'll be a few out there today, at least more than yesterday. Did not see the sun pretty much anywhere. New Hampshire gets quite a bit of it. That's where we rumble up some storms this afternoon. 70 ish in Maine, except for the mid and down east coast in the 60s, mid 70s over New Hampshire, and it'll be very muggy again. Tomorrow, no change, but Thursday and Friday, the front shifts off the coast. So more intervals of sun, longer intervals of sun. That's good. St still can't rule out a pop up shower or storm and a little more good news for you. The remnants of Cindy, which I was a little concerned could get to us for Friday. Now we're going to stay off the coastline, so we won't deal with any of that heavy rain for Friday afternoon or Friday night. In fact, the start of the weekend, not too bad before the next system moves in for Sunday. The pattern overall is not changing, so we're still going to deal with some rain from time to time. Small crafts are up seas three to five southeast winds 15 to 25 knots. Mostly cloudy, more downpours out there today. Highs in the low 70s, same thing tomorrow. A little more sun for Thursday and Friday and a little warmer because of it. 75 to 80, more summer-like, but still the chance for a daily shower or storm. Saturday, pretty much rain-free with a mix of sun and clouds. We'll see highs in the 70s. Not really liking the way Sunday's looking. So showers are likely and we'll have cooler temperatures then too, probably falling back into the 60s for one day. And then they go back up for the fourth. So, so, the, so the sun comes out and then the temperatures warm up. Isn't that weird? Okay, oh so sun equates warm. to warm. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Not adding up. It's starting this is to. Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to experience it. It'll be amazing. Right. It really will be. Thank Someday. you, sir. Reese.